Hi guys. Um, I'm actually supposed to be doing homework right now, but um, I was typing this paper and I thought of something that I would like to share with you. Um, I'm in a class. It's called Reflection of the Holocaust, and right now I'm writing about this village, and it's called Le Chambon, and it's in the southern part of France, which was later occupied by Germany, and the people there saved 500,000 people by sheltering them, and there was only 500,000 people in this town. So each person was responsible for saving another person. Or more. They don't know exactly how many. The 500,000 is a low is the low estimate. And I think that this is like a perfect example of something that I, people are afraid to do today because let's say because these people they went against this giant Nazi government because they thought that killing all these people was wrong and today we just we just let our government do whatever they want if our government decides that it's okay to forbid people of the same sex to be married then like we say it's wrong and sometimes it gets changed but a lot of the times people just sit there and they're apathetic about it and we need to not be apathetic about things because Apathy is the worst. The opposite of love is not hate, it's indifference. And by being indifferent about anything, you are simply giving people that much more power to control you. And that's all people try to do. They control you. And because they have this control, they can take you and make you do whatever they want. You're their little puppet. Like, they're their little marionette puppet. They're controlling everything you do right now. And I just... Uh, it just frustrates me so much because people, they just they just don't even care. They just let this happen. And we, we don't let... We don't fight for anything anymore. There's... There's no... It's not like... Not like France in the revolutionary days where they had a revolution literally like every 20 years. They... The French people love to revolt against their government. They love it. Um, but us Americans, we're so apathetic about everything. If it doesn't affect us directly, we don't care. And be that not caring is going to screw us over. I guarantee it. Because you can't just sit there and let your government decide everything for you. Uh, v from V for Vendetta, if you haven't seen that movie, watch it. It's amazing. It will blow your mind. Because our government is doing this. They're brainwashing us to think that they're good, and then they're, they're not. They're corrupt, and politicians, they're all corrupt. Like, I don't care if you're Democrat, Republican, Independent, whatever. Most politicians are corrupt these days. They all have their own little, like, agendas. The president was originally not supposed to have nearly as much power as he does. We just keep letting him have power, and nobody says anything. No one says, hey, by the way, in the Constitution, you're a poster boy. Just so you know. No, because we we want we want that strong central figure. And we still think we're in charge because we vote, but we're really not. We just we just do what they say. Most of the population, I mean, doesn't even vote. But I mean, think about it. Like, when was the last time something you thought the government was doing wrong actually you did something about? When was the last time anything was being done wrong that you did something about? Did you see somebody being bullied and say nothing? I guarantee somebody out there has. How, did you... Maybe did, maybe you witnessed a crime and you just you just let it happen. Maybe you saw... Maybe you were at a party and you saw somebody being taken advantage of and you didn't stop it. Like, all of these things, because they're not affecting us. We, we're just indifferent about it and that's horrible. We, we need to be passionate about things. We need to go out and we need to change the world because without anybody caring about changing the world, without any, with all this indifference in the world, we're all going to go back and we're going to have another holocaust because nobody cares. Everyone's just indifferent about everything and it, it drives me crazy. I, 
I want to be passionate about things. I want to I want to see people's passion. I don't want to see indifference because indifference kills the world. It really does. You know how many people were indifferent about World War II until after it happens and they're like, oh, we probably should have cared about that. We probably should have cared that they were taking all of these people to death camps. And I'm not just talking about the Jews. I'm talking about the gypsies and the handicapped and the homosexuals and the Jehovah's Witnesses. All of them, they were all killed just because of who they were. And everyone was just, oh, no, it's not affecting me, so I don't care. And there's there's a quote, and it's by somebody famous, and I don't know the exact quote, so forgive me for quoting this really badly. But I'm this is not a planned vlog at all. It's just kind of meh so um it goes something to the effect of uh they came for the jews and i wasn't a jew so i didn't speak up and then they came for the priests and i wasn't a priest so i didn't speak up and when they came for me there was nobody left to speak for me and that's not the whole thing but it's kind of it gives my point because unless unless they're coming for you you don't care but then when they are coming for you, nobody else cares because it's not them. And we need to we need to be passionate about things and we need to stop stop things that are wrong. We we just can't let can't continue to let all these horrible things in our world happen because without 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 people trying to change things, nothing is gonna happen. And without people people like you, people that are like I can you you have an opinion about these things. Can't do something about it. Don't just don't just sit there and be like, oh yes, I understand what she's saying, but I'm not going to do anything because then you're not listening to me. You need to be passionate about something. Change something. Don't just sit there and accept what the world is. Don't accept the horrible things that are happening because it's not okay. It's not okay that it's not okay that people kill themselves because they're being bullied. It's not okay that that six million people were killed because nobody Everyone was just appeasing everybody else. It's not okay that that this little village in Chambon was the only the only group of one of the only groups of people that just they just saved lives just because they they knew they should. We we should all be able to do that. We should all have the capacity to be really good people, but for some reason we're just not. We should not have these stories of date rape where people were with their friends and they were out and somebody like took them away and their friends didn't do anything because because they didn't want to they didn't want to impose like this these things need to stop and the only way they're going to stop is if we start doing something about it we can't be indifferent we can't be apathetic we have to be active we have to participate in the world we can't shut ourselves in our dorm rooms or our bedrooms or our houses and lock ourselves into our jobs and just think that the world is going to fix itself because it won't. It won't. So please just just go out, do something. Anything. Be passionate about something. Don't be indifferent because like that quote, I don't know who said it, but the opposite of love is not hate, it's indifference. And indifference kills the world. It really does. Please, just, just be passionate about something. Anything. But make a difference. Everyone can do it. Everyone, anybody can make a difference in the world. You just have to try. You have to believe in something. I don't care what you believe in, but believe in something. Something to change the world.